Hello guys, it's Anime FM here. And welcome back to episode 8 of the Crystal Palace career mode. Save, whatever, sorry. And today we're playing the first two games of the season. Man City and Watford. I'm confident against Watford. But not so much against City. But after the signings we made, who knows? And you'll see them in a minute as well. Now we'll look at the season preview. If it will come up. And we predicted predicted 11th this time. Which is an improvement from last season. But yeah, let's get right into the transfers. And I'm really happy with these. See uh, Andika, he's wanted. Go on to history. And you can see we spent 127 million. Yeah. And you might question some of these signings, but... Yeah. The first one is the Saint, Alan St. Maximin. Great signing. 35 million. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Next is Alton Eduard. Which I think is a steal for, is it 18 million? Yeah, it was. 18 and a half. 15 goals last season in Scotland. He's worth 36 million now. I'm really happy with that. But unfortunately, he can't play the first game as he's playing for the under-23s for France. Next is Luke Shaw, which is a... Some people might question it, but I think it's, it's an improvement. And for only £14 million, pounds, I think that's a steal again. He only played six games last season, but they have tellers there. And next is Jesse Lingard. Yeah. A lot of people are going to question this. He's valued at £33 million though. We got him for free. Played 18 times last season. 7.06 rating. 3-3. Three and three. I know he's a meme now, but I think he'll be a good squad player for us. Probably start quite a lot as well. <laughs> Next is Mustafi. Another questionable signing. 16.25 million. Played one game last season. But I think the experience is good. He's a World, World Cup winner. He has a few great games and he makes a mistake, but I think we can deal with that. Another solid signing. Next up is Nicola Morrow. A lot of people might not have heard of him, including me, before I scouted him. He had one season at Dynamo Moscow. 23 appearances, 7.1 ra rating. So of 18 million. Four stars. Look at all the greens as well. <laughs> He's a great player. Gone for 8.25 million, which I think is a steal. Next is Brian Cristante. From uh, Man City, we got him from. They signed from Roma, though. We got him for 10 million. Played five games last season. I think it's another good midfield signing. Three and a half stars currently. Buried at 19 and a half million. 26 years old. A lot of greens in his stats. As you can see. Pick another solid signing there. Next up is uh, Aya. I think he said it like that. Christopher Aya from Celtic, of course. Uh, 25 million we got him for. He's worth 18, but he's got a lot of potential in this game. Another great signing, I think. And look at all the greens again. <laughs> yeah. I think they're very solid signings. And we still might have more on the way. So stay tuned for the next episode for that. We might get some midway through the episode. The outgoings are some youth players. Alfred Matthews went with the St. Maximin swap. He's got quite a lot of potential, but it's going, why not? I think it's worth it for the same. More youth players, whatever. Then Milivojevic went, which is, a lot of people might not want that. He's at Napoli now. But we've got uh, Moro and Cristante now. Went for 15 million, potential 19.75. Also that a goal, Jordan Ayew. He was he was pretty good for us last season, to be fair. He's following his brother's path of going to West Ham. Yeah, eleven million though. I think that's a good good money for him. Twelve point seven five potential. I'm happy with that sale. Next up is Jiku, my own signing. People might question why I signed him. We made a profit on him. 
played 19 times last season. Wasn't the best, really. And he's gone. Simple as that. Next up is Townsend. A lot of people might question again. But I think for a 30-year-old, two and a half stars. So 18 and a half million is great for him, I think. So I'm happy with that. Of course, he got the Saint now and all of that. Yeah, it's good. But let's get straight into the, to the first game. Whew. So our lineup is Gaeta and goal. Ward, we're looking at a new right back right now. And we might get a new goalkeeper. So we'll basically have a whole new squad, basically. Yeah, Ward, Mustafi, Aya, Shaw, Cristante, Sanchez in the holding sort of positions. So Maximum on the right wing, Jesse Lingard on the left wing, Eze in the middle, and Zaha at front. But yeah, we have advanced forward. It's my favourite striker role. We're also going to balance as well. We're not as defensive this season. Might come back to bite us, but yeah. That's the bench if anyone's interested. Doesn't. Yeah. So let's get straight into it. He needs a number. 21. There we go. <laughs> a lot of changes there. I'm excited for this match. A lot more optimistic than last season. There they are. Skip through that. Turn the sound off. There we go. We're starting off with a highlight. Sanchez there. Lingard. Having his first touch as a Palace player. And he does that. Okay. Good set from Mustafi. Lingard. St. Maximin. Oh, close. Latoro Martinez. Good sign in there. As they intercepts, they can't keep it. Latoro is through. Good save got by Gaeta. Well done. I think we'll keep him for this season, Gaeta. And get a next one. Another keeper next season if we carry on with this series. Guy to the big goal kick up to the uh as it keeps it alive though. Saint Maximan. Was that was that a save? <laughs> what a save. Saint Maximan now. Raheem Sterling's on the ball. It's good at getting past the play, you know. Good tackle by Joe Joe Ward. Fourth currently. That'd be nice by the end of the season to stay there. Let's <laughs> encourage them. They like that. Guys with another goal kick. Joe Ward. Cristante. Saint Maximan. Saint Maximan again. Into Lingard. Can he score? He has. Come on. I told you it was a good signing. Oh, he actually scored. Against City as well. Ex Man United player. A lucky to block deflection came back to him, but still. Should we say Maximus assist as well? Both the wingers linking up. Edison should have done a lot better there. But we'll take it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Not a good corner from the St. Maximin though. Mustafi loses it. Raheem Sterling now. Into Aguero. Aguero is a bit deep there. Sterling is on the run though. To Lautaro. And he scored. Oh, it's disappointing. Our lead was short lived. Of course, Man City are one of the best teams in the world. That's what they can do to you. I think we've been the best team so far, though. Hopefully we can carry on like that. Stats look quite even. De Bruyne in the corner, though. That was close. Ruben Diaz from the front post. Okay. Shaw with a throw in now. Into Lingard. Back to Luke Shaw. Got a Man United down that side. Don't like that, but 
yeah, have to do. Good signs for us. Edison collects that. Not the not the greatest ball there. One of his big kicks again. Oh yeah, intercept. Good tackle. Zaha was a bit static there, but but yeah. Valverde now, ex Real Madrid player, Raheem Sterling, Inter Mendes. I'm not sure who that is. Surely the keeper should have had that. But well done, Aya, there. De Bruyne now. Laporte. Sterling. Laporte again. De Bruyne. Baron Torres. How did he miss that? <laughs> Got away with that there. Let's encourage them again. Because we're not playing bad, as I said. Hopefully we're going to be a lot more competitive this season. De Bruyne now. Lautaro. Baron Torres. Oh, the keeper there. Man City have gone ahead now 2-1. Yeah. De Bruyne there. Lautaro holds up well. Walker through. Keeper jumped over it. Dived over it. Not good. We could kick off again though. Cristante, ex Man City player. He should know them well. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe he can help us with their tactics. We can counter that then. De Bruyne is going to shoot from there. Good block. Good block again. Farron Torres again. Into Kyle Walker. Scored against us last time. Ezra has got him now. He's in a lot of space. Come on, Zaha, make the run. You can get past him. Oh, he's hit the post. So close. This has been a great match so far. Come down to a team suddenly. Oh my. A lot of teams haven't played though, to be fair. Let's just get into half time like this. Then we can talk to them. Mendes with the throwing. Not the best clearance. Sanchez heads it away though. Only to Laporte. Pass it to Mendes. Mm -hmm. Nuno Mendes. Hold on, I need to see who that this is. Play in there. Nuno Mendes. Looks like a great player. Someone's that sporting in real life. Interesting. Born for 42 million though. Sorry about that there. Joel Ward intercepts. Good interception. Zaha's got it. Make the run there. Set maximum. Can he get past his man? Well, held by Edison. Good run from the from Saint Maximin there though. Half time. We won't make any changes. <clears throat> I think that's right. They didn't like that. Fernandinho's on for Lautaro. They're going defensive now. Interesting. Wouldn't expect that from City. First game of the season as well. Nuno Mendes over the throne. Now we know who he is. Back to Laporte. Into De Bruyne, Aguero, Sterling. Oh, he's walkers through. But it's offside. Come on. Uh, Walker almost scored against us again. Gets in the box a lot, he does. Thank God. Where should make a substitution now? He was offside as well. I'm not comfortable with Ward there. He's played well though. Nathaniel Klein's got a bit more pedigree to him, if you know what I mean. Let's bring Lingard off now. He's got not to come on for him though. I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Put Eze out on the left. He can play out there. Bring Sanchez up to Cam. There we go. That's good. Mm 
Well, as I said, again, we're not playing bad. Of course, we had more shots and possession, probably, yeah. But we've held our own against a very good City side. Let's bring on Kieto for Mustafi. There we go. Ten minutes to go of the game. No, screw it. Got nothing to lose. Let's go attacking. I thought there was going to be a highlight then as well, but there wasn't to be. Oh, yeah, now. Renato Sanchez. Another bad ball up. Don't know why that keeps on happening. Maybe we should tell to play shorter. Another good ball from uh, Edison there, another big kick. Aya, Cristante, Bauer, Dawi, Eze, Sanchez. He's going to run with it, still going. Oh my god, I thought that was in. That was some questionable goalkeeping there. And Edison holds it from the corner. Oh, I thought that was in. <laughs> no. That's going to be the end of the match. 2-1 to City. We played good. I'm happy with our performance. Even though I won't tell them that. But yeah. Got Wolf Watford next. Newly promoted side. They'll probably be confident as they're new, new to the league. Got nothing to lose. But I'm confident. And it looks like we're going to have Eduard back as well. Which is great. Let's see. When this loads... See what they're saying. It's taking this time. Yo, screw this. I'll see you for the Watford game. So, guys, here we are for the Watford game. But before we get into that, we made a new signing and we let some players go. So, we brought in Timothy Castagna from Leicester for 18 million. Which I think is a great signing. So, we have 22 and a half. It's on 50k a week, which isn't bad. And I said I wanted to write back. He played, well, he played the game for Leicester this season. And I guess they're considered bigger than us. Nah, I don't know about that. But yeah, 18 million. I think that's good. A lot of greens again. He's also great at attacking, which we want. But we've let go of... Uh, here. Gary Cahill went out 450k. He's old. He's got a lot of experience, but... I don't think we need him anymore. Next is Ndika, gone out on loan. He was having a fit about not playing enough games. I said I want him to stay. They kept having a fit, so mess up the dressing room. I'm not sure if we can recall him. No, it's a shame. Uh, 20, so we can recall him, I think. That's, that's okay. Pierre has gone out on, on loan. He's actually a good young player. Went out on loan to Wigan last season, did okay. Yeah, and MacArthur has gone out for is it 925k for Russia. Happy with that sale. He basically replaced uh, was it Morrow, the guy we got? He, he, we got him for more than his worth as well. He's on 55k a week, so I'm happy with that. But also, for the next episode, I want you to recommend me some signings you think I should uh, have. I oh, see our original was 62 million, so we've done good. And uh, we've got 21 and a half million. Basically 200k budget. So yeah, recommend me some signings, please. <laughs> That'd be really appreciated. And let's get into the Watford game. I'm really confident ahead of this. So, in goal, got Gaeta. In defence, Castania, Mustafi, Aya and Shaw. Does he want to? He's fine like that. Moro and Sanchez coming into the midfield. Moro making his debut. Set Maximin on the right. Zaha on the left. I was going to start Eze, but I decided to start Lingard as he scored last match. So I think he deserves to start. Yeah, let's get right into it. I'm excited to see Eduard. Number 18 for you. I'm, ex I'm really confident ahead of this. 
<sighs> Hopefully we don't get beat now. I don't think we will though. Obviously got some good players like Joe Pedro Del Pedro Delafe, Ismail Asar, Will Hughes. Yeah. Let's say I expect to win. Skip through that. Got the visuals. That's their lineup. A strong lineup for a newly promoted side. And of course, here's our lineup. Very strong lineup, if I say so myself. Edward will be the key man, it says. And Sa will be the key man for Watford, who, who also lost their first game. Here we are at Vicarage Road. Of course, they've uh, got a relationship with football manager or whatever. Currently 13th in the league. But after the first game, we played City. So you can't really read into that. Sure of a throw into Lingard, though. Back to Lingard. Headed up by Cathcart. Into Chidera. So a lot of space out there somehow. Did he hit the post there? How can we let him run so far? Oh my. Trusty Kong with a free kick. Yankov. Hughes. Back to Yankov. Passing it between each other there. Out to Delefe, but it didn't make it to him. Good interception by Castagna. Mm -hmm. St. Maxim is one of his runs now. There he goes. Yeah. Great run by St. Maximum creating that. And Edward had to tap in. And he saw in his debut. The fans go wild there. Look at that run. Did it, was it a save? I think he hit the post. And Edward was there to tap it home. The fans going mental. He scored in his debut. What a guy. Come on. Come on. 1 0 to the Palace. Oh, it relieved a lot of pressure off us. Of course, at the end of last season, we had two meets with the board by our job. So hopefully they'll be happy with our performance this season. All they want is for us to avoid a relegation battle. So I'm not expecting too much. Anyway, we've still got a match to go through. Oh, St. Maximum could have passed through to Edward there. He would have been through and go. He's going to carry on running. Shoots from a tight angle again. Probably a little too greedy there, but we're winning at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. Lingard intercepts there, good interception. Zaha now. He's going one of his runs now. <laughs> Is he going to shoot? No, into Renato Sanchez. Back to Mora. Back to Castagna. Into Mustafi. Back to Castagna. Renato Sanchez now. Mora. Back to Aya. Sure. Some great passing here from us as well. Sanchez through to Zaha. Not the best pass, but it will do. Zaha keeps it after the pressure. Yes, come on. St. Maximum's got his first goal for us. The Saint is doing his, doing bits for us. Come on. Come on. That was some great passing there. A great header by St. Maxman. He's not known for his headers, of course. Pissed up to ninth. I think seventh is a Europa League 2 place, if that's what it's called. But we, yeah, we definitely take a European place, even if it's only the Europa League 2. Which isn't the best quality, of course, but still. Delefo to whip in the corner for Watford though. Is Mola start? Tidera shoots, gets blocked. He's the first to react to it though. Into Delefeu again. Tete into Will Hughes. Delefeu, Yankov shoots. God, that comes with a crossbar. <laughs> That's a bit close. Mustafi now though, from the short goal kick. Runs out of it into the space, into the Saint. Just going to run through their team. Good save by Zoet there, the Dutch goalkeeper. 
Smacks him to the corner, headed out. Mustafi gets it back though. Moro. Just lock it past him. Will he just tackled him? Tell for you now. Castagne, good tackle. As you can see, we're a lot stronger this season. Castagne has got an injury though, which isn't great. Gonna have to take him off now. Oh, Ferguson. Good player there. It's true, I'm very happy. To praise him there as well. Zoe with a goal kick. Gonna put it along. Why is your Pedro got the time to take a touch? Chidera is through, Yankov, Sars through. Come on. Great tackle there. I mean, save. What am I on about? Great save by Gaeta. Sard gets it back from the corner, headed out though. And he runs it out for a throw in. Interesting for him there. Sure of the throw in. Into Zaha. He brings it into the midfield. Out to St. Maximin. Is he going to shoot? Of course he will. Into the side netting. Those two link up. They're going to link up well, those two, I think. They're quite similar players, of course. Love to run with it. And they're uh, very skillful. Yeah. Very happy to have them both here. The Saint is going to come off now, though, as he's a bit tired. And Eze is going to come on for him. Yeah, Eze can stay out on the right. Looking at stopping him and then guard around, but no. Watford have a goal kick now. Cleverly to take it. A lot of players in the box there. Tete's got it. Delafu's through. And he scored. Okay, it's getting a bit tight now. Apparently no one's going to collect the ball. Not the best there from us. I think he should have had Delafe Mustafi, of course. Okay. It's going a bit tight now, I don't like it. But let's bring off Renato Sanchez now. For Chiate. Bring some defensive stability there. Have him as a... Let's see. Ball winning midfield to defend. Let's have that stability in there, you know. It turns in the defence. Like Kante, you know. Sweeping out every ball. Don't let anyone pass. But the stars picked up. My throwing deep in their half. Great talk of Ikeato, see? <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm only joking. <laughs> Lingard now, though. Into Kiato. Pass straight to Delafu. Oh no. Great interception by Ferguson. It gives it back to Delafu. Chidera. That's offside, surely. Yeah, it is. That was miles offside. Even I saw that. Great finish by him, though. The volley. As you can see, look. He was about 10 miles offside. Look at that. Goalkeeper just fell to the floor there, though. Uh, we might go cautious. Unless something happens here. Tete. Great defence. Great defending there. Putting your bodies on the line. Let's go defensive. Oh, no. Delafay has got a free kick out there. It's going to swing it in. Oh, well, that comes with a crossbar. Good uh, clearance by Luke Shaw, though. Two minutes to go of normal time. Four minutes injury time. One minute to go. Come on. First one of the season. There we go. Come on, get in. We've beaten Watford 2 1 there. Good result against a newly promoted side because of a very strong side. 
and Eddie Wells scored in his debut. Stanley's at four to seven days, which isn't the worst. Loved up by Eduard. Let's see. Where should we come back next episode? Should we do... Don't really care about the Carabao Cup. Let's come for Fulham and Arsenal. Two good games, I think it will be. So yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. It's been Adam with M here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Hope you had a good Christmas as well. Just come out on Boxing Day. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.